an investiture ceremony here at Rideau Hall today for members of the Order of Canada. A long list of names, including seven from the Ottawa area. Everyone, in fact, from the city of Ottawa, except for one who is from Chelsea. Among the famous names, longtime broadcaster with the Montreal Canadiens and CBC's Hockey Night in Canada, Dick Irvin, was among those honored today. You know, I've got a, an old scrapbook at home of my father's playing career that is over 100 years old. And there was a headline in the Winnipeg Free Press in 1914 uh, about an incident with a hockey game and a, a ruling and my dad was involved, etc., etc. But it had a great big headline, not on the sports page, but on the front page. So that just, even then, that's 100 years ago, that hockey was that important in this country. And I guess we all are touched by it sooner or later. While Dick Irvin is certainly a household name in Ottawa, another one of the more famous inductees today has an even stronger tie to the city of Ottawa. Author Douglas Copeland was honored today. He is also the designer of the National Firefighters Memorial. And last but certainly not least, you don't have to listen to Ronnie Hawkins talk for too long before you realize he's not actually a Canadian, but he has spent most of his life here. The father of Canadian rock and roll, most people would say, was honored today as well his own material, as well as his leading his band, The Hawks, who be went on to become the band. Well, w once we hit Canada, it, we, we, it, we found the promised land. That's all it was, man. I, we got up here, and that was the first year that the Honorable Tommy Douglas put in that, what, Medicare, is that what they called it up here? Yep. Well, boys, I, I told my band, I said, boys, we're in the promised land. How can, you, how can you get this? This is wonderful. I don't ever want to leave. <laughs> and so most of us didn't. I owe Canada everything because we came up here at a time when the places I were playing in Memphis and around there, they were rough places, man. I mean, you had to show your razor and puke twice so they'd let you in, you know. So, uh, but Canada had, we thought it was the opposite. We thought Canada was the wild country. At Rideau Hall, Doug Hempstead, Sun News.